Happy Wednesday, everybody. Forgive all the background sound. There's like cars driving in the background, and someone's like using a leaf blower. I don't know. Uh, it's going to be a great time, though, because you love me, and I love you. It's going to be great. I want to talk to you about John Bosco Day, which is a thing that I did last Saturday, if I get this video up promptly. John Bosco Day is a day for, uh, for the youth of the Green Bay Diocese, where 6th graders through 12th graders all come to this place called Holy Hill and uh, they brought in a tent and they brought in speakers and a band and um, and we prayed and we talked and there was a big bonfire and, and it was just a great time. For my part, I invited a bunch of people from the parish that I'm uh, being a youth minister intern for. I don't know how to phrase that exactly. Let's work on that. But I brought a group of eight young men and women from Holy Family Parish to John Bosco Day. The day started off really great. Uh, one of the first things that happened in the morning, we were driving past this uh, gentleman's club in the morning on the highway. Um, and so I said to the kids, hey, so I'm part of this community called Spiritus, and we have a tradition to pray that this place gets closed down. And so he prayed to St. Michael the Archangel. And one of the kids said, we have that same tradition. And I said, great, great start to the day. Fantastic. There was another moment when I was in the gift shop with one of the kids, and it was just so wonderful. He, uh, he was buying all these things, and he was saying, he told me that... Uh, he had gone to confession earlier that day, and the priest told him to try to do something to make his mom happy, and so he was buying these little presents for her. And that was so wonderful. I mean, I think, like, in the past when priests have told me to try to make my mom happy, uh, I've just been like, oh, I'll give my mom a hug, because, you know, that's cheap, and I can afford that. <laughs> Great example to me. Thank you for that. At the end of the day, we also had a, a kind of a debriefing moment, just to talk with all of the kids. Um, there were about 40 kids all together. Uh, eight of them were from my parish, and then there were a couple other parishes that we were going with. And we just had a moment to debrief and talk about some highlights of the day. And one of the kids was talking about a highlight in her day was when a few of us were in the chapel, um, and we just prayed a Hail Mary together. And that was wonderful for me to hear because, I mean, I was there for that moment, and it didn't strike me in a special way. It, like, just was kind of another moment of the day, but hearing that it was a, a moment that made a difference in her life, it's really nice for me to hear as somebody that's trying to put together events for, for the kids. I also want to share my personal highlight of that day. We had adoration at a certain point, um, and Jesus was being processed up and down the aisles so that everyone could get like an up close and intimate moment with Jesus. But I was in the middle of my section, and um, that meant that I wasn't close to an aisle, and that meant that my up close and personal moment with Jesus was going to be kind of from a distance. And I was like, that's not fair, jeez. But as I looked over on my left, all the seats were empty. There were just all these empty seats next to the aisle. And I thought, aha, that's my chance. I thought, what if I spontaneously like get up and I just go over to that aisle and I can just like kneel right in front of where Jesus is going to walk by. Now, I'm not a very spontaneous person. So Jesus was still over here on the right. And uh, he was uh, going up and down this aisle and this aisle and this aisle. And I was like deliberating, do I want to be spontaneous? Do I not want to be spontaneous? And it took like three or four aisles of that. And I said, yes, I'm going to be spontaneous. And so at the last moment, there were two people next to me on the left. I stepped over Bree because she was kneeling, and then I I tapped Anna on the shoulder and said, I gotta go, I gotta go. And she's like, what? Oh, okay. And so then we both go to the end of the aisle, and then I just kind of like moved over a few and I knelt down. And then she's like, oh. And so she knelt down too next to me. And then Bree, who I had just jumped over, she came too. And, and then all the kids behind me, all the kids that we have brought with us, they all came over and we all knelt right in front of Jesus just as he came up. We knelt down and, and then the priest that was processing Jesus around the congregation, the community there, he turned to us and he gave us a personal little benediction. And I remember the speaker just before had been talking about striving to be who we want to be in life and, and who do you want to be, Peter? And I was like, I want to be a saint. And so I just said, Jesus, I want to be a saint. And I heard him say in my heart, it's going to be okay, Peter. It's going to be okay. You guys, that moment of, you know, just like throwing myself at Jesus' feet and seeing all the kids follow after me, that was a really cool moment, and... It made me really happy. So thank you for all of those that came with me to John Bosco Day. God bless and ciao. I don't know if I have anything to do as a kind of a blooper afterwards joke thing. I think I'm losing my sense of humor.